Hey everyone, it's Anna here at D's and I hope you're having a great weekend. It's never too early to start thinking about fall and a lot of you have been asking. So we are kicking it off, all the tutorials we're gonna have, the great things we're gonna be putting on the website with a fun fall swag for that boxwood or your lantern. So we did a lot of these for the summer. We did some for every day. And first up is gonna be a neutral fall swag. You can put on a boxwood, put it on a lantern, mantle, bookshelf, all different places. So first up, I chose this beautiful grass spray. It's got little wispy flowers on there. It's beautiful, it's got some wheat and it's kind of like a papery texture, which I love for the fall time. And then next I chose this pumpkin pick, which is my absolute favorite. It's got the white pumpkin with the green lines, a few little berries. I'm gonna put those together with some ribbon. So first off, I'm gonna start by fluffing. It always makes it look better. So I'm just gonna take a little, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it to bring a little bit down and leave some kind of going off to the side too. So I'm just gonna cut the end here and then fluff it a little bit. So bring, bring maybe this branch down. All of it's wired again, so it works really well. And just move everything around, kind of touch every little branch and kind of hold it up to whatever you're attaching it to. So if you're putting it on a box, we go ahead and hold it up there and kind of look at it. If you're putting it on your lantern, again, kind of hold it up, make sure it's where you want it. Next, I'm gonna go right on top with the pumpkin pick, but I am gonna cut this one off too because it's got a little bit longer of a stem than normal and then fluff this one. This one actually looks pretty good before I even fluff it. I'm just gonna move a few leaves around. Let's see here. And now I'm gonna lay it right on top of this one and then mix them together. So it doesn't look like we've just stuck two things together. They kind of look like one big swag piece. So again, hold it up there. Look how gorgeous that is on a boxwood. If you don't have a boxwood, maybe you have a grapevine that you like. You could put this on a grapevine. You could put it on a leaf wreath, but it looks really nice. Same thing here. Flip it upside down. Look how pretty on the top of that lantern. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna do the ribbon for it in my hand. I chose three ribbons today. First up, this beautiful kind of olivey green, happy fall y'all ribbon. This is so fun and it's nicely spaced out so you can get it to show up really well in your tail. So I'm gonna start by pinching it right in the middle so that I can have two happy fall y'alls in my tails. Just wanna make sure I get that right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my loops on top of it, but look how fun that is. You can really read it easily. I'm not gonna worry about looping it. I'm just gonna let this kind of be the bottom part. So next I have a one and a half inch neutral cream stripe, which looks really great with the pumpkin. And I thought I would kick off the fall season using greens and creams and things like that, just so we're not too in your face with your oranges and your yellows, because it is still July. But if you know anything about us, we sell out of stuff so quickly. So you wanna not wait and grab what you what you see that you like. And of course, this kit will be on shoptheselouisville.com. So go on there, grab the kit, follow along with this video while you make it. So I've left a tail going up and I'm gonna make a couple loops of this. I'm gonna leave this one a little bit longer, not quite as long as the Happy Fall, y'alls. And then next, I love this one too. I chose a sage green, kind of olivey green polka dot in the one and a half inch. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a couple loops. Cut that one. And now I'm ready to tie it off onto my stem. I use a little cloth covered wire right where my fingers are. I'm gonna move this out of my way. All right, where you wanna tie it is where you have some going up and some going down. So I'm gonna go behind this pumpkin right where these two stems cross over. And if right now I don't have the bow tied off, if it's easier for you to just tie off the bow real quick, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt it at all. But I've gone, I've got both stems in the wire and I'm just gonna tie it in a nice knot. The best part about these floral swags, I don't know if you've seen them before when we've posted them, but you can make this for your wreath, twist it on there for the fall and then twist it off, put Christmas on there, put summer, put Valentine's Day. And that's why I love them so much. And the best part is too, is there's kind of an expensive way to decorate. You can just order the floral kits, get them in for each season. 
All I'm doing is twisting it onto the wreath. I'm at about eight o'clock, seven o'clock, somewhere around there. But if you like, you can do it kind of low like this. You could do it on this side, you could do it up and it's all wired. So you're just gonna move it all around. I'm gonna cut my tails. Look how cute that heavy ball y'all is. And again, move. I'm gonna move some of the loops. Cut that. There's another one. There's another one up here. So now I've cut all those and I'm just gonna move them around. And I'm gonna move my floral around, bring some of this floral to the front. Let's bring this kind of in the middle of the bow. Look how pretty that is. It was so easy to do. The kit's gonna have everything you need to create that. And I'm gonna twist it off and show you how cute it is on the lantern too. Okay, so if you have a lantern, you're wanting to use it that way. This is like a medium sized lantern. You're just gonna flip the whole design upside down, twist it right onto the top, and then you will have to adjust your tails a little bit, especially those happy fall y'all. Just kind of bring them down. And as you can see too, now I've kind of got my floral a little wonky. You're just gonna take a few minutes, adjust your little tails and adjust your loops. And how beautiful is that? They'd be so easy to make to put on lanterns on the front porch, put them on your mantle all over. So again, go to shopdeeslouisville.com. We're kicking off the season with this one. It's nice, neutral. It'd be a fun way to get started and definitely stay tuned. We're going to keep posting all through the season, through Christmas, and it's going to be so much fun stuff. You guys are going to love it.